Uh, welcome to BT Dance Educational Videos. Today we're going to be talking about the angles of your hands on the bench when doing a tricep dip because it actually plays a massive, massive role. If your wrist can't rotate, if you try and actually rotate your hand, the rotation tries to occur at the elbow joint. The problem is the elbow joint can't rotate either. So if you actually try and rotate your hand, the rotation occurs up here at the shoulder joint. Your entire arm rotates. Now what happens is, therefore, the direction of your fingers when placed on the bench will give your elbow joint the steering column. It will tell your elbow which direction to move in. So have a look at my elbows when I'm on the bench. Just naturally, nice and loose, if I just place my elbows, um, my fingers straight, my elbows naturally stick out that little bit. So if you just grab the bench and go straight down for the dip, what you'll tend to notice is your elbows go out laterally a little bit. Now in order to target your tricep muscle most efficiently, your elbows need to be tracking straight. You need to get your elbows out here all the way tucked in, which means that your fingers now need to be laterally rotated. Just like your toes when doing a squat, exactly the same reason. So what I want everybody to do from now on is that when you take a grip of the bench, if you have a look at my hands, laterally rotate your fingers, so tilt your fingers out and have a look at what happens to my elbows. So what you want to do is take a grip of the bench, laterally rotate your elbows a little bit so your elbows get tucked in and now when you do a tricep dip, they will track straight back. So this is a big no-no. And this is the more advanced, better way to target your triceps when doing a tricep dip. Try that in your next workout.